introducing This Ain't No Date, a piece inspired by Pulp Fiction and set within the, uh, the iconic Jack Rabbit Slim's diner. I've wanted to do this type of piece for a good while now, actually. It was meant to be uh, in the past um, collection, Lost in Hollywood 2, um, but I couldn't find the, the reference image to, that I was wanting to kind of base it on. But I thought I was so desperate to do it, I thought I'd just create the thing from absolute scratch. So that's what I've done here. It's, it's set within the diner, um, and it's on that concept of of the fact that things didn't quite go um, as as planned, um, and and I think that's the thing with the the film. It's 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 absolute pure brilliance. The fact that things happen on on such chance, and it's so close uh, to things happening in such a different way, and that's what's that's what's played out here is the fact that they didn't win the dance contest. Um, that's what she wanted to do. She wanted to to dance, she wanted to win, she wanted that trophy. And it's it's that, it's just showing the, the brutality of the film, uh, but in a quirky way, because it, there's so many iconic quotes within the film that sometimes you forget the sheer brutality of, of, of what's going on. Um, with the plot and the, and the weapons, the gangster element to it. And um, so it's just a, a scene of, of complete destruction that's glossed over by the, the bubblegum type, um, you know, with the, the neons and, and the quirkiness of it. Um, but it was the playing on the, the, the line from, from Vincent Vega, where he said, if I describe the diner as the waxwork to the pulse. So that's what I've done here when you, you see Marilyn, that uh, is so lifelike, but it's actually a, uh, a waxwork. So it's cracking in the detail. Um, and it's, it's kind of leaving clues as to, as to certain um, concepts that maybe uh, things have been hidden and things like that. It's, it's for you to kind of work out. But it's, um, it's just been great to, to get so many references in um, and to, to finally to see that piece played out as I'd hoped for, for so long. I've absolutely loved it. I remember years back at college doing a... Um, it was a, a project on trying to understand Tarantino's um, mindset and his way of, of filming. It's after so long, I mean, God, I was probably 18, to, to come back and, and do, do this piece and, and see how it's, how it's turned out in my, in my style, my way of thinking. Absolutely over the moon by it and um, loved every minute of it. So that is This Ain't No Date.